Okay, so on this episode of Real Men Get It Done, my son's room uh, is a victim of our dog in some capacity. We think it is an anal gland spray of some kind, but we woke up this morning and his room was uh, was putrid. It was on a whole nother level, level of just stinking, uh, way more than just urine. So didn't plan on making necessarily a video today, but I think it's a good time to make a quick video and review some products just to see how these products do uh, and to move forward from there and actually show what we're gonna do today. But it really smells a lot stronger than urine. Uh, it could be something doing with the anal gland. Our vet, uh, not vet, our, our groomer actually came over to get our dog today and she mentioned it smelled something like that but we're not sure but we need to tackle first of all cleaning this room and then we're going to actually treat this entire carpet and give you some reviews on the smell and see how we did with it so these are the products we're going to use today and my time was limited because we are actually headed to go out of town i couldn't go and find something on amazon there's a lot of good reviews of pet products on amazon uh, but this is what i had to work with on short notice at walmart so I got this Out Pet Care Advanced Urine Destroyer and also Pet Fresh Carpet Eliminator and Odor. So my plan is to do as we clean up this room, we're gonna clean it up, get all nice and neat, move the furniture all to one side and uh, treat that entire area uh, with this product and the Pet Odor Eliminator. Okay, so we have the cleaning all done and come to find out as we check the room, the smell is in two different locations, which means the dog most likely uh, urinated or whatever is going on with her in both locations. She recently had surgery um, to make sure that she was, I guess, neutered or spayed. I can't remember which one it is for the dog. And so we think that may have something to do just with her body chemistry being all out of whack because she typically knows that she is not to use the restroom inside the house, of course. Uh, but this is what we're going to tackle pretty much the entire room just to make sure we're good to go and it is clean uh, so that he can get access back to his room. All right, so we're gonna keep it real simple. I'm going to use a shot back, um, a shot back to dry up the carpet because it's gonna be damp. I'm gonna use the products in a bucket, this right here, and probably, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll use this first so we can vacuum again, then use this because the carpet will be wet. I'm just gonna have a really simple setup. Just gonna do a mop and a bucket. I have a very light um, car washing uh, brush that I have that I don't really use. So I think that'd be gentle enough for the carpet uh, to kind of make sure it's saturated and cleaned up. And then we'll uh, clean it up with the shop back so that it dries a little bit quicker. Probably open the windows, so let's see if it can dry pretty much the next couple hours. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do. So I think the first step went really well. What I want to do is actually let it try to dry a little bit. It didn't soak the carpet as much as I thought it would with the brush, which is a good thing. Uh, so hopefully that scent is only surface level. So I vacuumed, 
then I went ahead and did the actual solution. I'm going to let it sit for maybe 20 minutes, close the door, let the air in the room kind of circulate, see how dry it is, and do one more process, and then we should be done for tonight.